What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Pop Tropica. I hope you all are doing fantastic today. Uh, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this pirate guy, spin the wheel, and get some loot. Hopefully we can get a grand prize, but if we don't, it is no big deal. Um, uh, last time I checked the store, I couldn't find... Dang, alright, we got 75 credits, that's... Okay. I'm gonna take a quick swig of my water here. And I think the dialogue speed is medium, but we'll see how it compares with the new island. See if we really need to change it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, with the store uh, that I checked in last episode, I'll just check it real quick again here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. But with the costumes, it has all these, right? I don't really care for many of these. Oh, the bouquet of roses. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like... Ooh, we might... Actually, I like those Valentine shades. Let's go ahead and get some. We'll equip them on our character. Crushing power. Tap spacebar for a crush. Box of chocolates. All right, we have a Cupid follower. Okay, so this stuff is seasonal. I get it now. Um, because I think it was sometime in the... Sp I want to say the spring, because that really makes uh, the most sense for when there would be a... Um, for when there would be a squirrel follower. Move the mic real quick. Um... But yeah, we had a squirrel follower in, uh, like, the shop. Now, you can't buy any powers. There's a couple pranks. Eh. And then a heart balloon. Okay. So, just like a balloon, but a bit different. Alright, well, there's that. We will go ahead and actually equip those heart glasses, because they look pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. They make me look like Elton John, which isn't our goal, but hey. They look... They look snazzy. They look snazzy. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna scratch my neck real quick here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is- yes, it is this one. Okay, so Adventures of the Strange. We're actually coming really close to being done with this. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Galactic Hot Dogs 2, the Wiener Strike Back. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is just like Timmy Failure in, uh, Big Nate Island, Diary of Wimpy Kid Island, Boardwalk Island. Um, Galactic Hot Dogs is a, uh, book series. <clears throat> Which I think I uh, speculated on in the last episode with uh, the Timmy Failure Island. So, you know. Um, anyways, though, we are going to be tackling Galactic Hot Dogs. Um, or the Galactic Hot Dogs Island in today's episode. The difficulty is two golden skulls out of three. And has a G for its medallion. Galactic Hot Dogs medallion. That's fine. No progress. Got, little, like, got like a little floating robot, I guess, with grabbing arms. And a spaceship looking thing patchwork on the chair the uh the description reads from the uh, from the hit if i could speak from the hit graphic novel comes the zaniest zaniest is that right i'm gonna say zaniest zaniest pop tropica adventure yet i don't believe that hop aboard the neon wiener for an intergalactic voyage with cosmo humphrey and princess dagger all right that's such a strange set of circumstances uh such a strange cast exit what is this <clears throat> I think it's funny we're, it's exit, but we're going inside. Hello, human child. They call me Fred. What can I help you with? Hello, Fred. Not sure, but I'll let you know. Okay. Oh, hi. Is that the neon wiener? Heard you're having problems? I guess? Entering the cook-off, my nuclear hibachi is flat out of fuel. Okay. Why is the cook-off so important? <laughs> With the prize money, we can afford to hunt for a map to the most frappin' fantastic treasure in the galaxy? Uh, okay. Wow. What do you need to power the grill? Is it like nuclear plutonium with that radioactive sign right there? <clears throat> nuclear pellet for this fuel cell. Okay. Oh, he gave us the fuel cell. Okay, it looks like a, um, a stationary sort of centrifuge. Just like with the slits for the tubing and whatnot. I don't know. Hi. Are you Humphrey or something? What's the matter? Cook-off about to start and the mega dog ain't ready. Alright, why not? Blue Cosmo's really sore at me. Who's Cosmo? Is he the kid inside? Captain of my ship, best buddies inside. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, I thought that was Doctor Strange for a second. <laughs> Alright, let's go left. See if we can't find a place. Is this the common room? Yes, it is. Hi. Wonder who won the contest today? Intergalactic Arcade. Hopefully, we can find someone. Hopefully. No? Alright, well, you guys know the drill. <laughs> it's very upsetting that we can't find anyone. <clears throat> Or you can glitch through the floor. That's cool, too. That's cool, too. All right, let's head to the left. Hi. Intergalactic food truck contest is starting soon. Can't wait. Uh, Galactic hot dog store. Okay. Arena is packed with food truck fans. Intergalactic food truck cook-off this way. I think it's interesting. Everything says exit. Even the, even, even the buildings. <clears throat> like when you're going inside them. All right. Oh, now it says go left. Okay. For the last time, you were born evil, and I don't know what kind of a horrible mother I'd be if I didn't raise you to be evil. Is that Princess Dagger? Intergalactic Food Cook-Off is sponsored by Spiffo... Oh. Scoring pad? Spiffo for when a spit and shine just won't cut it? I didn't get to read that. But nothing will have... Oh, but. But nothing will have no more of this. Now I've got to assume my queenly duties and stuff my face full of food truck treats. Is it gonna be ice cream, fish and fries? Oh, that's cool. Queen Dagger reminds you to use the sanitary mats provided when genuflecting to her majesty. Let's get some absolute zero. Coldest ice cream you'll ever eat. Well, actually, absolute zero. Let's uh, branch off to science real quick. Um, if any of you are, like, thinking or, like, studying um, Spaceport uh, Funkatown, the shining jewel of the Dark Kingdom. <laughs> I think it's, a sh it's funny. It's, it's the shining jewel of the Dark Kingdom. Um, can I click on this? Live speaker, I can't resist playing around with this. Oh, yes. Play, play, play. River City Rodents, left fielder. Oh, what? Rubber Baby Buggy Bumpers, three thick thistle sticks, unique New York. That's kind of easy. Hot pink. If I say this one, will someone run past me like, oh, it's mine. Will the owner of a hot pink rebel blockade runner please move your vehicle? It is parked in a tow zone. I want to see what actually happens. <laughs> um, yeah, with absolute zero. Um, that's all I want to say it's impossible. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to say absolute zero is kind of impossible, right? Because even if you use like a, um, even if you like use a, like a little dip thermometer or, hey, someone's messing with a loudspeaker. Let's put a stop to that. Thebes taco truck. I'm not messing with anything. Don't touch the royal loudspeaker. No, I wanna. Was that rebellious commoner bothering you, Princess Dagger? No. Go away, don't need you useless jacks watching me all the time. Just following the queen's orders? But yeah, absolute zero. Now because you use the thermometer, right? Whether it's a laser or like a little dip thermometer or whatever, you can't reach absolute zero because you putting that thermometer inside or uh, close to whatever you're trying to uh, measure as absolute zero will <clears throat> oh bye uh, will um, like increase the temperature right so I thought that was interesting uh, good day <laughs> what's good about it don't see nothing good about it Oh, dang, I was like, okay, someone's in a grumpy mood. Intergalactic food truck cook off for one thing. Please. Every year these foul creatures show up with their gross grub and stink up this joint. Dang. Not a fan? Ready to get off this rotten rock. Alright, well, I guess we'll kind of. Wait. <laughs> Milky Way Maki. Hi, I want a Milky Way bar. Who are you? Oh, oh, who are you? Who are you? I'm Boba Flay, the preeminent chief in the galaxy, the best chef in the galaxy, the best, second to Nada. Who's Nada? You sound pretty sure of yourself, eh? <laughs> Nothing I can't turn into a can't turn into a delicious dish. You can cook anything. How about a fuel cell for this thing in my jig? Bring me some weirdo ingredients, I'll prove it. I'll make it worth your while. Alright. Gonna be, be salted. Okay. Well, let's go left. 
halt restricted area. Okay, that's a shame. That means scram. Dang. That's a shame. Can I, like, hop over? Huh. That's dumb. <laughs> okay. Hey. Stay away from the queens of robot jacks. They're mean. <laughs> well, we can, like, click on this thing again, right? Loudspeaker can't resist playing around with this. Will they move over? Oh, yeah. We have to, like, run past them and go over there. Uh, rubber baggy... Uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers, three thick thistle sticks, unique New York. Tongue twister. Hey, someone's touching the thing. Scram! All right, I kind of want to speed up the uh, the box, but then uh, at the same time, these are like I think I'll keep it the way it is, just because <clears throat> I don't know. Because if we keep it at this point, it's kind of too slow. If we keep it at fast. It's gonna be too fast with all these like giant chat boxes for me to mess with or uh, for me to read all of them Like I can't read all of that and that at the same time because they're gonna go away Rebellious commoner. Oh, yeah, then they go over there. So then what's this thing? Click Pry this open with a long enough lever. Dang Do you got a lever? We don't, I own, we don't own a lever. Yo, Deeb, you got a lever? No Okay, well Go to the right. Like, what? What am I doing? <laughs> hmm. I kind of like this music. It's not bad. Oh wait, hold on. I can't go. Can I go inside here again? Am I gonna be transported to a whole new area, or is this just like a really tiny island? Um. Yo. Nuclear pellet yet? Need to start cooking. Yeah, what am I looking for? Ooh, button. Don't know what this does. Better leave it alone for now. Dang it. Hey, give me random ingredients, Fred. <coughs> Not sure. I'll let you know. All right, well, I guess we missed something. Uh, maybe we... No. Maybe we missed something with, uh, what was it? Milky Way Barman? Milky, I'm gonna call him Milky Way Man. I think his name's like Mackerel. Maki? I think his name's Maki. Makai? No, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I can click on this. <gasps> yo. Oh, yo, can we actually, like, use that as a lever? Can't resist playing around with this. Alright, well, I will click on this. Just for this, I'm gonna make it go fast. Because I don't want to have to, like, see all this again. For a third time. Uh, now batting for the River City Rodents. Left fielder chance. Fabuloso! This lady's in a funk. Come on. Come on, Jax. Come on. Come on. I was gonna say, we could probably talk to Maki or Makai. Just because, like, he's the only vendor with, um, like, actual dialogue. But, oh, that's not what I want. Let's go to, yeah, there we go. Let's use this. Oh, that works. Sick. Yoink. Radioactive can't touch my hands or, like, melt. Well, I mean, depending on the type of radiation. But I got one. I need two. Give me the other. Nuclear hibachi. Dang it. Well, we got this thing done. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna swap it back to medium just in, just because uh, I don't want it to be... I'd rather it be slower so that way I can read it and have extra time versus it be too fast and me miss a lot of it because this island seems to have a lot of big bubbles, like big text bubbles. So, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Is that like a piece of dirt on the ship or something? Yo, I got your ding. Have you found my nuclear pellet yet? We need to start cooking. Yeah, I think you do. I think you're a bit too late for cooking now. Uh, they probably like with the rules and regulations not allow you in now. You found one. This week we make the best hot dog contest has ever seen. 
of the best dog contest of this contest has ever seen. I personally wouldn't trust anyone burning a hot dog like that. Prize is as good as ours, nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, except for an explosion. Or, you know, it being poisoned or burnt or something. But, at the cook-off, things go wrong. We're getting shot at. Alright. Inside the cockpit, I'm flipping switches and buttons and spinning knobs like crazy. Humphrey makes it inside about five space seconds later. The engines are heating up and the ship is undocking. Another seven seconds, and the neon wiener is rocketing into interstellar space, leaving behind Princess Dagger and the angry port. Uh, port? Port Funky Town mob. But now, Big Humps wants to talk. He places one of his massive paws on my shoulder. Cosmo. Uh, heart to heart time. You can't just be whipping Goober around and lassoing evil princesses. <clears throat> it's bad for business. I hang my head. I'm sorry, Humps. She was stealing, but she was stealing the mega dog. Humps scratches his chin. Good point, but still, we're interrupted by a silky smooth voice saying, Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, is this like a parody on Spaceballs, which is a parody on Star Wars? I swear. Because, like, that's basically how, like, the beginning of Spaceballs goes. There's Princess not, uh, interested, and then, uh, the rogue like people, and she hops aboard their ship. My throat goes, Ooh. It's evil, Princess Dagger! What makes her so evil? And she's aboard our ship! What the butt? <laughs> what? What the butt? I've never heard that phrase before. I clearly don't read this stuff. Uh, what are you doing here? Stealing your ship, silly. I'm an evil princess, you know. I start stuttering. No, 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 no. You can't be here. Your evil mom is gonna think we kidnapped you. She'll kill us. Princess Dagger is about to spawn when bleep, bleep, bleep. Brace for impact. Our pet robot, Fred, says. There's the Royal Navy, if you couldn't tell. Smudge, I exclaim. They're trying to shoot us out of space. The princess has a sly smile on her face. Duh. They think you kidnapped me. I shoot her a supreme mean look, and then I hang on tight. Impact imminent! <clears throat> that could have not gone more wrong. We've got to get out of here. I bet by the end she's going to be happy and happy because of them. Humphrey, hit the gas. Who's Humphrey? Are you Humphrey? I'm full throttle, buddy. So you are. Okay. Push the button. Yes, something's wrong with the warp drive. Oh no. What the butt? Again? Really? Oh. A wormhole. That's bad. Wow, that was random. Fred, what the heck happened? <clears throat> The crew's been scattered throughout the galaxy. I will help you search for them. Wow, that was kind of... Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered friend planet... Alright. Funkatown. Click on a sector to scan. Alright, click random. Alright. Well, let's go there. Let's go C3. Let's go middle. No. Alright, well, I guess we kind of have to... No. Alright, well... <clears throat> Let's do this one. I'm gonna go around this shape. Let's go there. <laughs> oh! Bones, I'm stuck on top of a giant mutant mushroom. Maybe I'll just take a little snoozer. I'm on a green jungle planet near a yellow star. Okay. What about here? No. Here. <laughs> oh, smudge! I'm in a pterodactyl nest and the mama won't let me leave. I'm on a green planet with a lot of water near a green star. Okay, what about this? Here. Uh. Let's go there. I don't know. Uh, there. There. 
Oh, cool. This is more like a moon than a planet. I'm getting assaulted by asteroids. I'm on a dark red planet near a white star. Alright. Dark red planet, white star. Okay, well, that was that. What do we, what do, we do now? Help you search for the rest of the crew? The girl's not really the crew, but alright. We got, okay, one, two, three. Yeah, that's those three. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, green planet, a lot of water, green star. <coughs> Can't exit, I'm in space. What am I supposed to, don't know what this does, better leave it alone for now. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh, wait a minute, hold on, there's stars here, aren't there? Hold up. Green jungle, yellow star. Green. Well, that's not really green. Alright, well, I can't go to him, I guess. Oh, this one? That's the only clickable one. Yeah, I guess it's that. Green or yellow star. Oh, cool. Green, yellow star. Let's go here. Wait. No? Dang. Oh, this one. This one? No. Oh, this one. That looks blue, though. Yeah. What in the world? Oh, this? Maybe? Nah. Exactly. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna click all these. Green planet. What the? Green planet. <laughs> I clicked all the... I can't click the star. It not make much sense. But I mean, I clicked all the planets. I'm not gonna go to him just yet. I'm gonna go... <laughs> you were there. Green planet, lot of water near a green star. Okay, green planet. Green star, though. So it ain't gonna be any of these. Oh, hold up. Green star. So let's go there. Green planet. Green planet. It looks blue. Oh yeah! Hold up, gotta, my computer does this weird thing where it like, changes it super dark. Alright, cool. So, it looks like a giraffe pattern. I guess we'll go up. There's a pterodactyl over there, it's kind of like flying. Can I hop on it? No. Oh, yes I can. Okay, well... That's good to know. I think he's like up there. Yep. 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 Dang it, I missed it. Come on. Come on, pterodactyl. Come on. Ah, I see. What the? Oh, okay. Oh, now we gotta go up. On it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yo. Oh, we got a we got a seed pod. Okay, right, I don't know what that does, but we got one. <laughs> Whatever it does, I got it. I guess. <laughs> Let's go left. Oh yes, yeah, so on this desolate planet. Let's get a. Oh, is it like Frogger? <laughs> I guess it is, huh? Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Well, that's cool. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Up. Oh. Whoop. Oh. Oh, there's a broken eggshell. That's not exactly what I want. But that's okay. You're going up. Way too far up for me. You weren't going left. Yeah, that'll do. Whoa. No. Uh. Come on. Up. Yep. Uh, no. Dang it. <laughs> Come on. This ain't too fun. Are we on? There we go. And then I gotta whoop. And then you. And then. Alright. And then I gotta get on you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
I think I get it. I'm just glad those things can't knock me back. That'd be very annoying. <laughs> Yo! Well, let me leave this nest. She must think I'm her baby or something. Alright, well, I got a seed pod. We can, like, Indiana Jones you out of here, right? Trade me some, like, ingredients like this. Alright, well, um... I don't know why my dog's whining, but my dog is whining. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I can't do anything with you just yet. Yeah, knock me down. Sure, that's cool. Uh, I guess I went to the wrong... Wrong thing. But we know where his planet is. That's fine. Can we, like, go to the ship easily? No, I guess not. Okay. Let's go to the right. Let's, I guess, head to Humphrey again. See if we can't figure that out. Oh, it's gonna be an annoying climb. Now it says enter. I thought it said open for a split second. Um, hey, Fred. Lila, could you stop whining, please? Alright, so we have his planet. Humphrey. Green jungle planet, yellow star. Yellow star is there. So let's click it. Green jungle planet. That's not really green, but I'll click it anyway. Yeah, it's not really. I didn't think of that. Alright, we got a green planet here. No, I'll right, we'll work back on the map and I'll leave this with yellow star. I got a couple jungle planets here. No signal. Oh, green jungle planet. Maybe that one. Oh, I should have this one too. And this one. I don't know why my dog's whining. Oh, what are you whining for? Alright, well, that scans. I'm gonna go let her. Yeah. <laughs> of course, though. No signal. What? Hold on. Well, maybe this one. This one. This one. This one. No. What? Huh? Did I not find a green planet at the last? Uh, spot. It was a yellow star, right? Green jungle planet near a yellow star. That's orange, so it's gotta be this one. Right? Okay, we got a couple jungle planets over here. Come on. Yeah! Cool, we got that. We got that. Let's go try and find Humphrey, I guess. Where is he? Oh. Ah, lovely. Alright, so they're gonna act as like little bounce pads, but we're gonna they're gonna bounce in the wrong direction. Boing. I can already tell this is going to get an annoyance. Looks hungry for fertilizer. Oh, okay. How exactly would you know that? gonna carry the momentum of the last direction we ran about. Come on. No, go this way. Ugh. I can tell this is gonna be annoying. No. Okay, there. And then what? What in the world? Come on, go there. And then or don't do anything. Sure, that's cool. That's cool. Ugh, I hate these things. <laughs> I hate them already. Boom, go this way. No. That's dumb. Really? This is a stupid mechanic. <laughs> Alright. No. Bounce, bounce. No, what are you doing? Okay, I need some sort of fertilizer or something. So clearly that's not working in my favor. I'm gonna go to the princess. Dark red, white star. Let's go to this one. I wonder if the planet spawn is random. Alright, it's not that one. It's right here. That's orange. Yeah, it's orange. I didn't think it'd be that one. Dark red, more like a moon. Oh, wrong one. I didn't click that. No signal? Okay. Click this one real quick. Yeah. Alright, um. Let's go here. Just to be sure. Oh, maybe it's that one. Yep, okay, it's that one. Cool. <sighs> oh, that's fun. 
I like rocks crushing me immediately. That's always lovely. Oh, hi. Guana? Oh. Do we really... For real? Alright, well, I understand what we're supposed to come here for now. We're supposed to come here, get the thing, and go to Humphrey's planet. And use the poop as fertilizer. Yo, Humphrey, uh, I'm just gonna click your planet. I get it, yes, okay, cool, uh-huh, fun. That's the demonstration, I understand. Now, let me do this, cool. Um, let me just go ahead, first and foremost, turn this one. Um, equip, I guess. Turn it that way, okay. That's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on this one. Come on. Hey, what the heck is this? Fruit. Oh, cool. I was afraid it was actually something useful. Alright, well. I guess we gotta... Change the direction of this one, maybe? And this one? Probably. Oh, boing. Boing. No, we were so close. We got this. Come on. No, come on, come on. No, come on. There we go. No. Not what I wanted. Let's go there. Let's not do that. Alright, cool. Let's do that. There we go. And let's overshoot it. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. It's fun. It's fun. You always overshoot these things, right? Boing. Boy, you were supposed to perfectly land on that thing. Like, literally, you clipped through it. You literally clipped through it. What in the world? I'm gonna click this again. Shut up, plant. So, I gotta get there, right? I'm gonna go here to this. And then I can, what, hop off this way? Oh, I was hoping to... Yeah, sure. I'll see if I can't just fall down on that next time. Um... Let's do that. Can I just fall off that way? There, or that. That's cool too. Boing, boing, boing. Shabam, we made it! Booyah! Only took 40 billion tries. <laughs> All right. Where's Humphrey? Clearly, we gotta do something. Right, well, it starts with that. For some reason. And let's go... There. Yeah, let's glitch through the ground. That's cool. Yeah, don't get me stuck in a loop. That would suck. Alright, cool. So we kind of just gotta do all this jazz. Cool. Oh, not that. Don't do that. Yeah, I just said don't do that, and then you went ahead and did it. Twice? Three times? Four times? Um, 
Okay, well, clearly these cave walls haven't been coated very well. Alright, that, I'll, okay. Sure. Don't you love farting plants? Boing. Nah, we're here. Yo. Thank goodness you found me. Help me out of here? Sure. How? Let me just push on the bone with a piece of poop. Freedom, I'll see you back at the ship. Cool. You gonna give me anything? No? Okay. Bye. Have fun getting through the weird things. Alright, cool. Let me just this way. And these. Let's not get stuck. Especially inside that wall. That would really suck. Okay. So, I haven't... I think there's a spot on the map for Funky Town. I really think it's Funky Town. I hope I'm saying that right. I think, like, that's the whole joke, right? It's supposed to be Funky Town, but, like, a weird alien spelling or whatever. But, yeah, I think I'll head there. Hey, Fred, how's it hanging? So, Humphrey, are you actually gonna, like, s like do something and fix the warp drive, or are you gonna do nothing? Alright, so, Funky Town, I don't know how this is gonna work, because this ship was literally being shot at. Uh, but, you know, let, let's go back here into the marketplace and not get shot at by anyone ever. No, we don't have the princess stolen or anything of that sort. No way. Alright, hopefully no one minds the fact that I'm holding poop. Um, yeah. Alright, so we got that ingredient. I'm gonna go trade for you. Trade you for it. Alright. Yo. Ah, oh, this is one of the rarest spices in the galaxy. I'll trade you this bouncy gelatin salad for it. Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, cheap, that looks like. It's got, like, other food particles in it. I wouldn't actually eat that. But, you know. Wait, so, hold on. Before, before, I, before I leave, uh, we also have this, don't we? We collected it. Incredible, the Moxborough fruit is very rare. I'll trade you an extra jumbo egg for it. Yes, sir. We will most definitely take that egg. And stop holding this plate of jelly. Although, I kind of like the jelly, not gonna lie. The jelly's pretty sick. It's like my favorite part about this island. <laughs> Although, let's be honest, Astro Knights did the whole space thing way better. Shh, don't tell. All right, Fred, let's go. Let's go, Fred. Let's go save your old Captain. Captain. <coughs> Captain Cosmo. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, uh, let's hold the egg a la Indiana Jones style. This is an extra jumbo egg. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Extra jumbo egg. I should make a series where I <laughs> talk in only a falsetto country accent. Be kind of funny, won't it? Be kind of funny. I think it'd be a little bit funny. I don't know. Well, I could also talk in a fake Russian accent, but, uh, you know. It is really all in the eye of the beholder, whether you enjoy that sort of content or not. Personally, I think it'd be hilarious to see someone in a falsetto uh, accent. But, that's just me. Oh, no! There we go. Oh, we risked everything for it. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Use Indiana Jones. Da -dum -bum. Yeah! Thanks, you saved my butt. I'll see you back at the ship. You got it.
It's kind of messed up, because now... Because now, like, that egg will never hatch, and the mom won't even realize it. They literally gave you a bird for escaping. I think that's kind of funny. Alright, well... Let's go back. Ignore the uh, Sonic trailer in the woods. Oh, actually, uh, this is going up on a Friday, so if any of you are seeing Sonic in the theaters today, I'm actually recording this on Thursday, um, but yeah, if any of you are seeing uh, Sonic in theaters, please do tell me how it is. I will help you search for the rest of your crew. Of the crew, not your crew, it's not our crew. The prince isn't really a crew member, so we can kind of just like leave her. But, you know, it's not my executive decision. Alright, let's go over here. We didn't, we kind of just like took the back guano and left. And guano is like the PG word for poop. <laughs> Couldn't I just stand right here? Yeah. That's exactly what I want. I'll come here. Is it gonna bounce? Yeah, it bounces. Trap in this filthy cave, break me out of here. How'd you get stuck in there? All right, I'll bite. Come on. There we go. Just so I can walk without stumbling. Bro. Alright, that's cool. It's actually not super difficult. I prefer this over really anything else. Those birds weren't too bad, but I kind of hated that other thing with the mushrooms. Ugh. Imagine I dropped it right there. Freedom, let's get off this pathetic rock. Okay, don't get squashed by Jex. The uh, Jex by Jex, yes. I was going to say, don't get squashed by rocks because you don't have jelly. Jelly. Jelly Welly Rolls. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm not sleep deprived or anything. Mm. I'm not currently sleep deprived or anything. But, you know. Alright. Well, oh, yeah, I guess that makes it a bit easier. Getting back to the ship, eh? Alright, well, we got everyone. So let's head back to Funky Town. Whoop, whoop. We're all back together. Now that we. Uh, now we can look for that treasure map. If only we knew where it was. Hey, princess. You have an idea, don't you? You know, maybe it's because the vines cut off too much oxygen in my brain, but I thought I had a bit of a vision heading through that wormhole. Oh, uh, well, that's kind of weird. What sort of vines? I guess you're on a jungle planet, but you were stuck in... You were trapped in bones. Me too. I thought it was just the trauma of nearly being squashed by asteroids, but I could have sworn I caught a glimpse of the map's location. Some sort of white star with the... I don't know. See, if that was a fast speed, I couldn't actually do it. Holy butts, maybe being molecularly disassembled and beamed across the galaxy was the stroke of luck we needed. Yeah, I don't consider that luck. Oh, does this armband have a smiley face on it? That's kind of funny. Alright, well. Body was vaporized, beamed light years across the galaxy. You can see it clear as day. The map is somewhere near a red star. Can't promise any more than this. Sure, I saw the map was located somewhere in column E, the galaxy map, galactic map. So E, red star. Saw the map too. Uh, massive column E. All right, what? Galactic graveyard or fifth row? So E five, and red star. Suppose I could look there for the next several millennia. Maybe I can help you figure this out. All right, so E five. Red star. I'm gonna go there. <clears throat> what are we searching for? We're searching for treasure. But, like, we don't know what planet it is. Just know that it's a red star. Even though it's totally orange. Is it for, like, a pile of junk? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what the? Oh, that's strange. 
Got caught in the f debris field. Try again. All right. Let's not get hit. Whoop, whoop. Oh, okay, that's a long ding. Oh, and then we did it. Wow, okay. Well, there's what? Is it a ship? <laughs> Alright, let's let's drop this jello. Remove. Well, if our character just has a That's a map piece. Maposphere. Looks like a piece of, map, piece of the map sphere. A bit more hidden around somewhere. Alright, probably, yeah. Looks like a fake monster. Ah, uh, yes, this wire is gonna be cool to touch. This president closed behind us, honestly. Alright, well, there's like a enemy over there or something. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, what fun. It is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Ah. Ooh, Daryl. Ah. I suppose seeing all these mutilated body parts and animal things and whatnot would actually scare you in real life, huh? Oh, cool. Maposphere piece. Oh, that's two. Sick boys. Everybody get a third. Open that, and he's got it in his lap. And then this skeleton's gonna fall, I bet. Or something might look at us strange there is no treasure there is only evil Blah. Hey, what did he mean by evil I don't know find all the pieces should get back to the ship okay sure it's kind of crazy that dude had enough energy to survive all this time and was waiting for one random stranger to come aboard his ship when it was desolate and all of his crew members have already died and everything else had already gone bad for him. But, you know, he didn't try and escape or anything, just sat there and he was like, hey, I'm going to sit here looking cool, posing in my chair, holding the map in me so I could hold the map in my lap so I could scare the next person to come by and scar him for life and then warn them of a dangerous evil, but not name it. I knew you could do it. Warning. Numerous unidentified, unidentified vehicles on intercept course. It's probably because we might be coming to get the prison the princess. Ah, smudge. The queen must have found us. We're doomed. I'm going down with my ship. Jingo, what if you press that button? Jingo? That's what caused the wormhole last time. We aren't Jingo, but I'll push it. Emergency use only. Boop. Here we go. I hope the queen is hungry. You gonna shoot hot dogs? I'm looking at the mirror, and I can't believe it. It's a full-fledged, top-notch, intergalactic wiener parade. Hot dogs fill the sky. Ships swash, crash, and bash into each other. 
Princess Dagger is indeed a rage a super smooth getaway. With 10,000 wieners clogging up the highway, I hit the gas, and we escape and flurry the floating hot dogs. We made it! So that's what that red button does. Huh. So that's what that does. Island Medallion, you've completed- Oh, well, actually, hold up, what? Ready, crew? Time for our next adventure. I bet it's gonna be, be like a bonus island for members only. No, actually, wow, it's not. Okay. Congratulations, cool love. You completed an island quest, earned an island medallion, and 150 credits to spend in the store. We have the Galactic Hot Dogs quest uh, medallion. That's cool. Uh, we'll explore more islands, though, because I want to show you guys Mock Tropica just a bit. Um, so, yeah, that was Galactic Hot Dogs. It was, it was okay. Uh, personally not my favorite. I don't really understand the whole premise of it being evil and whatnot, like not actual treasure. But Mock Tropica is up next, and that is pretty much uh, where I'll leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, weren't too upset with my confusion <laughs> and all the times I got turned around and whatnot. Um, I'll probably trim down this video just a tad, just because, you know, um, I figured this is a fairly simplistic island um, doesn't need to be over an hour long but that's just how slow I am so I'm gonna trim it down a bit even though I normally like keeping it um, pretty pretty straightforward and like not uh, cutting it a whole bunch I just don't want it to be over an hour long for you know this island it doesn't seem really worth it you know um, <laughs> but that's person just me Anyway, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please consider leaving a like down below if you did. Um, and, you know, let me let me know your opinions of these... Oh, my water bottle kind of fell. But, yeah, let me know your opinion of the episodes, whether you like how I divide the Arabian Nights 1, 2, and 3, or just, you know, the uh, individual maps, like Hop Tropicon, except for this one, and the Survival Island, except for this one. Uh, into different episodes, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know your opinion on that. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy. And, you know, share with your buddies. Uh, help spread the word about my channel, my content, and just me as a creator, I guess. Um, regardless, thank you all so much. Hope you all enjoyed, once again. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!